What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Megan in this video here again today. So Megan will be Blumhouse's version of Chucky. I'm just going to keep calling it that. Um, and we got footage at CinemaCon last night that proved that this is not going to be like Annabelle. She's very much so going to be like Chucky. It might be very heavily relying on CGI too, but we'll have to see how it comes off on screen. This was presented by Allison Williams, who made an appearance at the, at the event. And then we got footage, or they got footage rather, of Megan. And descriptions of the footage were released. I can't wait to see how this new AI horror film doll is put out and what reaction everyone has to her and if she's welcomed as a being a part of the killer doll community for slashers anyway. But the film, let's just give some details of the film really quick. So this film stars Allison Williams and Ronnie Ching. Um, in addition to Violet McGraw, Brian Jordan Alvarez, Ario Green, Jen Van Epps, Stephanie Carew Montin, Michael Sakinti, and Kimberly Crossman, Blumhouse recently revealed a post a teaser poster just for CinemaCon where they also provided some exclusive first look footage. While the footage is unavailable for the general public, we've seen it and we got some first reactions here directly from the room. Now this is coming from Slash Films, so shout out to Slash Films. I just took some of the things they had on their website and I'll be going over some of the stuff that they shared as it pertains to the footage that was disclosed or shared Allison Allison came out and to help introduce Megan and per her account she's a robot who starts out friendly but then as with any good horror movie things start to go wrong as for the footage it kicks off with Williams character and her, and her niece living together we come to learn that the niece's parents died leaving Williams to take care of this little girl then the interesting wrinkle is thrown into the mix as we learn that Williams character has designed a little robot called Megan whose goal is to protect her young niece named Katie from harm and of course what could go wrong from there everything could go wrong as we're gonna find out when megan debuts next january i believe january of 2023 is when the movie is supposed to come out so hopefully we'll get to see a lot more new exciting things before then uh, but just to go into the official breakdown of what was shown it doll the doll apparently is very unsettling it looks a little bit like an olsen twin with a deranged twist the young katie and the doll seem to be getting along well in the montage of footage building emotional connection to one another she's the happiest she's been since her parents died we hear things get a little bit interesting though when a bully in the woods attacks katie doing her job megan gets down on all fours and chases the kid out into the street where it appears as though he gets hit by a car whoops um and then she says i won't let anything harm you that's what she says to katie naturally williams wants to shut megan down but that probably isn't going to work megan is seen dancing and flipping through all an office hallway resisting the notion of a shutdown she grabs a nail gun that she promptly shoots through someone's hand don't worry katie i won't let anything harm you ever again so she says that ominously before the footage cuts off so that whole description of what they got shown gets me even more excited for what is going to be shown in this movie when i get to see it because I, I or even a trailer because i want to see how this comes off on screen and i saw some stuff online that might even be telling us that she has some special abilities but just to pause really quick there and talk about violet mcgraw violet mcgraw is who i think is going to be playing katie she's the young child star in the film now if you're familiar with mike flanagan's work of haunting of hill house and if you've seen dr sleep and some other things i think she was also in like the separation last year violet mcgraw is one of the one of the more i would say talented young child stars that we have right now putting out content so if she's the one that's starring as katie and then you throw this scary doll into the mix i'm pretty sure we'll have a very good time connecting with the character we'll get to feel sympathetic for her since she's lost her parents and of course this movie is following some type of tropes they usually have with these type of movies such as the Child's Play 2019 movie itself and the original Child's Play with Andy Barkley, who was being raised by a single mother, who I would say Karen seemed like she was indeed struck trying to make ends meet by also being a good mother and giving her child, her son, the best childhood she could. Um, and maybe Andy, of course, noticing that things weren't that good. That's why he wanted a good guy doll, just something to at least make him happy because of the fact of the situation they were in financially. It did seem like they were they were struggling financially. I'll just be honest. Uh, so we have a similar thing here with Violet's character, who assuming that she is playing Katie, who has lost her parents. That's going to be something for us to easily connect to, especially for any of you who might have grown up without your parents. But Violet McGraw herself, she just will make the make the character that much more sympathetic because of how talented she is. And I'm pretty sure that as long as she continues to put out content, and as long as she continues to show signs of just being this talented actress that she has shown, that she is going to be someone who might grow up to be in a lot of final girl roles. Let's just hope. Uh, but with Megan, 
it seems that the footage everyone was shown at CinemaCon also was satisfying to them because I saw a lot of reactions online where they were calling it terrifying but also I guess comedic in ways and someone did talk about that part where she was crawling on all fours and then Akilah Cooper who is the writer of this of this film who also is pinning the nun too she actually chimed in and say wait till you actually see the full sequence so if there is a actual sequence where megan doesn't actually kill the bully but the bully ends up getting killed because of running into a direction and not paying attention i mean that's of course not megan's fault entirely but i i just don't i don't know how i would actually feel in that regard since we know that that she was being bullied by this individual but then again of course they're both kids uh that doesn't mean he deserved to get hit by a car so whatever megan is doing clearly is going to be something that's going to be a little bit overbearing which is going to prompt them to try to shut her down she's not going to have any of it a la i guess you could say pat from smart house for those of you who remember that disney channel movie uh where refusal to shut down she's gonna become i guess even more deranged and more protective of katie and to the point where she might even try to start harming gemma who we know is going to be portraying uh, who williamson or, or who williams is going to be portraying in the film the character of gemma who will be katie's aunt um uh, who is going to be the one designing the doll and ends up using the prototype to give to Katie and Katie of course will find some type of comfort in the doll and then the movie of course will just go into this insane direction as it pertains to their relationship and how the doll is overprotective and Katie doesn't need to really have anything to do with this doll because of how it is going to be causing a lot of chaos I would imagine that's going to end up getting her get looked at as a red flag get, kind of get a lot of attention on her negatively and just have people close to her doubt her sanity maybe will they even do that will they try to explore something that's kind of similar to what they did in the original child's play where you have a kid who who is thought to be doing all of this when it's actually their doll um i know that's going to be something that's probably going to be very infuriating to me if you have stupid people running around not listening to the child but let me know what you guys think about these footage descriptions down in the comment section below for megan are you still excited for megan let me know down in the comment section as well if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video